Good morning guys, welcome back to my triathlon YouTube channel. So today is Sunday and I am doing West Lanx Sprint Distance Triathlon. Um, it's quite good, I'm making a coffee at the same time. It's quite good because this sprint distance doesn't actually start until 12.25 um, because it's a pool swim so you get given like a specific start time based on your 400 meter um, swim time. So when you enter you put in like what your 400 meter swim time is and then they can decide where you go in the lane. The people who are slower would start earlier and those that are faster start a bit later and then obviously you go out on the road and then cycle and run. So the format is a 400 meter pool swim, come out of the pool, then you get on the bike and then I think the bike is like 13 and a half miles. Yeah, so last time it was 11 and a half but they've changed the course and then the run is five kilometers. Um, so that's like your typical sprint distance. So I did this two years ago. And the reason I'm doing this one is because I want to compare my times to last time. So I did it on the 29th of August, 2021. And I did the swim in 6.33 minutes. The cycle was 35 minutes, 27, but it was 11.4 miles. So this time it'll be two miles longer. So I probably will go off like the average speed or something. I didn't have a power meter then, so I can't really compare power. And then my run last time, 24 minutes and 43 seconds. So I would hope to beat that because that's like the pace I was holding for the half marathon that I did a few weeks ago. So hopefully I'll get a better time overall. So it's just like a comparison. I've not actually done a sprint distance since that race two years ago, because obviously I've been doing like the Ironman and the half Ironman and like longer stuff. So I'm actually quite looking forward to like just going all in. I think last time it said that my average heart rate was 190. <laughs> we'll just race, won't we, buddy? So we're gonna have a coffee and get some breakfast now and then head down to Edge Hill, which is only about half an hour or 40 minutes from me. Just sorted out my bag and I thought I'd give you a little top tip. So in my bag, I've got my cycling shoes, my running shoes, a pair of goggles. I will get given a cap. I'm gonna have my tri suit on and then a bottle, only gonna have a small bottle with just like a little bit of sugar water in. But my top tip, one of my top tips, for a sprint distance triathlon, you'll sometimes see people running with, sorry, the lighting's terrible. Is that better? Wow, bright. Sometimes you'll see people running with uh, no socks on or cycling with no socks on. And you might be thinking, oh, how do they not get blisters? Or how do the feet not hurt? So this is my top tip of what to do with your shoes. So you've got your shoes here. These are my running um, race shoes. These are the Ciccone Endorphin Pro ones. And basically you get some Vaseline and then you put the Vaseline on here. I'm not actually gonna do it now, I'm gonna do it in the race, uh, in transition. So you get the Vaseline and then put the Vaseline around here where you might rub. I've got insoles um, and sometimes I do it like up near the toe as well. So then you rub it around the back. So then when you slip your shoes on, um, you don't get blisters and they don't rub off. Like your feet don't come out. That's just, yeah, so top tip, Vaseline and anywhere else if you chafe them. This will also be very useful. So what happens, the running goes through to swim, and joins up the bike, and goes to the bike, they join the run as well, and then the run just yeah, It's very windy, that's all I have to say. <laughs> Oh, a lot of people do the best work as well. Yeah, 
No, you didn't. There's no such thing. You're tougher. Woo! <laughs> Nearly there, come on. Please don't know. <laughs> Firstly, stop muddling up in it like that, don't do that. I don't feel like that's a fair comparison to last time. Because the wind is like. now as you can see it was the windiest race ever debrief is that the swim was piss poor for me um my css like no not my css time but if i was doing css testing the 200 and the 400 um my 400 best there is about 605 so that's what i put down for the event and i actually did like 621 which is like a 135 pace which oh you don't get any warm up for the swim in this kind of race like open water sometimes you do get to swim a bit whereas for a pool one you don't so you just like getting in and doing like 400 meters straight and we were where we were sat it was flipping boiling for 25 minutes and also i had a bit of a collision with another swimmer anyway as i was saying in the swim i had a bit of a collision so i tapped the guy in front of me and then he let me pass and then after he let me pass he was tapping me again but i was doing the same speed so then i thought well i'm just gonna keep going <laughs> and then i did a tumble turn and um he'd like swam to the side where i was gonna push off at and then i went straight into him and yeah that was a bit of drama and then you come out of the water and i was just saying to greg one thing that's annoying about like triathlons is like the time that's on the results isn't your swim time because it's like it, it takes the time in which you cross the map which is usually so for this race it was you come out of the water and then you like run around the thing and then you cross the timing map so it's almost about it's like a bit of a running race as well it depends how fast you can run out of transit uh, out of the pool and i'm like trying to get my breath back so i don't really run that fast so then it looks like you've done a bit of a crap swim and then the bike was so windy like it was super super windy um it was windier than i am on uk and that was windy i tried to push as hard as i could yeah just uh, i didn't go on my tt bars i just went on the hoods and just tried to do my best i could and i think i you know i did all right i think i pushed hard on the bike then the run i actually felt good on the run but also felt like i couldn't really push because the wind was just so there was like a such a strong headwind going up a hill i think i did my run in like 22 50 something it's much better than the last time i did it so here it was 24 45 and it wasn't windy whereas today was 22 50 something and it was very windy so but i, I did feel strong on the run to be fair i felt like i could have carried on so maybe I didn't push hard enough. We all have to do another sprint where it's not horrendous weather and it's not hilly because that runs quite hilly. It's like all around the grounds of Edge Hill. Any comments from you as a coach? <laughs> you set a new power threshold, so that's good. I set a new power threshold. I mean, I think it's all very positive as in like you run way faster even though it's much harder conditions and you bike equally good in tough conditions. I think you wouldn't have raced that well in tough conditions a few years ago, so. No, that's a diff. Yeah, and that's it from me. So thank you so much for watching. I'm not sure what my ra next race is. I'm actually thinking of doing like a trail half marathon, um, which is an odd one, but I just kind of fancy it. I like going downhill, so yeah, we'll see. And I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching, bye.